And a mother from Southern California is separated from her five children and put in a San Diego detention center over what her family is calling a clerical error. She was crying and she was in shock. Today, her stunned husband spoke to 10 News. 10 News reporter Michael Chen is joining us now. And Michael, you were actually there when she phoned in and her husband had to break some news to her. Yeah, and a very emotional moment in what has become an immigration nightmare, as her husband describes it. A devoted mother who has never gotten so much as a parking ticket now behind bars. They are the picture of a loving family. Anya Bondareva excited to raise her children in the U.S. until she tried to cross the border last Thursday. Her husband, Sergei Nikitin. She was crying and she was in shock. She could not believe it was even happening. His wife suddenly taken into custody. Nikitin, a longtime U.S. citizen, and Bondareva, a Russian native, were married in 2008. Nikitin says he hired an immigration consultant in Los Angeles to handle the paperwork. His wife received a conditional green card, and after two years to receive a permanent one, a form would have to be sent in to confirm the two were still married. And I should have checked it myself. It was just one of those things which, that I relied that they would tell me when it comes up and it needs to be done. Although her green card had expired, Nikita applied for and received a one-year extension revealed in this paperwork. Earlier this year, the couple flew into Mexico and crossed into the U.S. with no problem. They went to a fingerprint appointment set by immigration officials. When they called immigra the immigration service, he was under the impression that it was still pending. But last week, when they tried to re-enter, that was the worst feeling ever. The mother of five was taken into custody. Turns out after the green card expired, a deportation order was also issued. Nikitin says because of a change of address in L.A., they never got notice of any hearing, leading to her being taken in. After we interviewed him, a surprise call from an Otay Mesa detention facility. We watched. She's crying. As he told his wife, she could be in there for weeks, perhaps months. Yeah, she was crying for some time. She couldn't even speak. Nikitin's attorney now says she will likely be deported. And at this point, they also just want her back on a plane and back with her children in Russia. Once that happens, she will have to request an in-person hearing to reapply for that green card. So far, Homeland Security officials have declined comment. Michael Chen, 10 News.